Tov, Zavadai, Yahuwah, Yahuwah. Almighty, great I am, creator of all. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the light. Thank you for waking me up when my alarm did not. Forgive me any wrongdoings I've done. Araba, who is in the Shemaim, set apart, Yikadosh is your name. Your reign come, your desire be done in earth, be done now as it is in the Shemaim. Give us this day our daily portions. Thank you for them. Toda. Forgive us our sins, debts, and unrighteousness as we forgive those who are sinned, indebted, and unrighteous to us. And lead us not into the hands of Messa, the enemy, the adversary, wrongness, but deliver us from evil, the adversary. For yours is the reign and the power and the esteem. Forgive us our unrighteousness. Forgive me my unrighteousness as I forgive others who are unrighteous to me. As we forgive those who are unrighteous to us. Yours is the reign and the power and the esteem today, tomorrow, and eternal. Baruch Atah Yahuwah Eloheinu Melech HaOlem I told her, give thanks. I tell her, Abba, shout with the loudest praise, Hello, Yahuwah, to celebrate and dance. Barach, to bow down. I proclaim Shabbat. And now we zamar, make music and sing. Word to the Father through the Son, that my words be washed clean and reach the Shamayim. So be it. Let's zamar Psalms 14. in his heart there is no creator they have done corruptly they have done an abominable deed there is no one who does good Yahuwah, the creator Yahuwah, looked down from the Shamaim on the sons of mankind to see 
If there was or is a wise one seeking the maker. They have all turned aside. They have together become filthy. No one is doing good. Not even one. Have all the workers of wickedness no knowledge? Who eat up my people as they eat bread? And do not call on the Creator. For the Creator There they are great in fear. For the Creator is with the generation of the righteousness. Would you put to shame the counsel of the poor? But the Creator is his refuge. Oh, that the deliverance of Israel would come out of Zion. When the Creator turns back the captivity of his people, let Yaakov rejoice. Let Israel, the chosen ones, be glad. Psalms 14. Abba, let your word impress in our hearts the way we should act, as signs on our hands with all we do, as frontlets between our eyes with all we think, say, hear, and see. Let your word filter all things. Let it be the building foundations of our homes and guard our gates. Abba da Abba. So be it. Baruch is he who comes in the name of Yahuwah, Yehoah, the Creator Almighty. I am. Acts four. And as they were speaking to the people, the priests and the captain of the Yit Kadosh place set apart, and the Sadducees came upon them. Being annoyed because they taught the people and announced the resurrection from the dead <clears throat> in Messiah, Emmanuel, Yahushua, Hosiana, and they arrested them and put them in jail until the next day. For it was already evening. But many of those who had heard the word believed, and the number of men became about five thousand. And it came to be on the next day that their rulers and elders and scribes assembled in Jerusalem, as well as Hanan, the high priest, I'm sorry, as well as Hanan the high priest, and Kayapha and Yohanan, and Alexander, and as many as were of high priestly descent. And having placed them in the middle, they asked, 
By what power or in what name did you do this? Then Kepha, filled with the Yit Kadosh Rach, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders of the Chosen Ones, Israel, if today we are called to account for the good deed toward a sick man by whom he has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that in the name of Emmanuel Hosiana, Yahushua, our Savior, Messiah of Nazareth, whom you impaled, whom Elohim raised from the dead, by him this one stands before you healthy. This is the stone which was rejected by you builders, which has become the chief cornerstone. And there is no deliverance in anyone else, for there is no other name under the Shamaim given among men by which we need to be saved. And seeing the boldness of Kepha and Yohanan, and perceiving that they were unlearned and ordinary men, they marveled, and they recognized that they had been with Emmanuel, Yahushua, Hosiana, our Savior. And seeing the man who had been healed standing with them, they could not contradict it. But when they commanded them to go aside out of the council, they consulted with one another, saying, What shall we do for these men, to these men? For indeed, that an outstanding miracle has been done through them is apparent to all those dwelling in Jerusalem, and we are unable to deny it. But in order that it spreads no further among the people, let us strongly threaten them, to speak no more to anyone in this name. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all or teach in the name of Emmanuel, Yahushua, Hosiana, our Savior. But Kepha and Yohanan answered them, said, Whether it is right in the sight of Elohim to listen to you, or... To listen, whether it is right in the sight of Elohim, to listen to you more than to Elohim, you judge. For it is impossible for us to not speak of what we saw and heard. And having threatened them further, they released them, finding no way to punish them because of the people, because they were all praising Elohim for what he had been, for what had been done. For the man was over forty years old on whom this miracle of healing had been done. And having been released, they went to their own people and reported all that the chief priests and elders said to them. And having heard that, they lifted up their voice to Elohim with one mind and said, Creator, Yehoah, Yehoah, you are Elohim who made the Shamayim, heaven, and earth, and the sea, and all that is in them, who by the mouth of your servant David have said, Why did the Gentiles rage and the people plot in vain? The sovereigns of the earth stood up. And the rulers gathered together toward, gathered together against the Creator and against His Messiah. That's in Psalms 2, 1 through 2. For truly in this city there were gathered together against your Yit Kadosh servant, Hosiana Emmanuel, our Savior whom you anointed, both Herodes and Pontius Pilate, 
with the Gentiles and the people of Israel. So do whatever your hand and your purpose decide before to be done. And now I am Yahweh Iwa, our creator. Look on their threats and give to your servants all boldness to speak your word by stretching out your hand for healing and signs and wonders to take place through the name of your Yit Kadosh servant, Messiah Yehushua. Emmanuel Hosiana, our Savior. And when they had prayed, they play, the, the place where they came together was shaken, and they were all filled with the Yit Kadosh Ruach, and they spoke the word of Elohim with boldness. And the group of those who believed were of one heart and one being. They were Ikad, and no one claimed that any of his possessions was his own, but they had all in common. This is how we're supposed to live, y'all. With great power, the emissaries gave witness to the resurrection of the Master Emmanuel Hosiana, our Savior, Yahushua, and great favor was upon them all. For there was not any needy among them. For all who were possessors of lands or houses sold them and brought the prices of what was sold and laid them at the feet of the emissaries. And they distributed to each as anyone had need. That's how we're supposed to live, y'all. And Yosef, who was also called Barnabas, by the emissaries, which means son of encouragement, a Levite, a Levi, a native of Cyprus, having land, sold it, and brought the proceeds and laid it at the feet of the emissaries. Sawada for your word, Abba Father. May we see May we Shema your word Abba hear and obey that we find favor in your eyes and you Baruch bless us with your Yit Kadosh Ruach set apart spirit that we find favor in your eyes and be Baruch blessed with your shalom, peace, and agape, unconditional love. So be it.